In this video we're going to create a post and here we are at our home page of our website and as you can see here there is a post that was already created called hello world and by default posts will appear on your home page and there is an option to change that and we'll look at that in a future video but this post of course was created when we installed WordPress and it's just there for you to get a feel of how posts look on your website so to create a new post, we of course have to log into our admin area at WP Admin. And from our menu, select Posts. And we will see a list of all the posts that have been created on our website. And as you can see, our Hello World post is here, and we have the option to edit it, quick edit, trash, or view the post. Now, you should delete this post, because of course it's there for demonstration purposes, but I won't delete it just yet, as I want you to see how it will be affected once we create a new post. So to do that, we select Add New from the top there. And before we actually create the post, there are a few things on this page I want you to become familiar with. The first thing is at the very top here, in the right hand corner, is the screen options. Now this allows you to just customize what options appear on this screen. And you will see that a couple of boxes are already ticked, formats, categories, tags, featured image. And if you go and look at the right hand side here, you will see format, categories, and tags. So if you wanted to remove those options, you would just untick the boxes. And there are some additional options here that you probably do want to tick, such as the discussion box. And what that will do is allow you to control comments and chat back and ping backs on your posts. Okay, the next thing we want to look at is the title. Of course, you'd want to name your post, and remember, based on how we set up our permalinks, the name of your post will appear in the URL. Okay, and you, you do have the option to adjust it, and I will show you how to do this. The next area is this area here, which is our WYSIWYG editor. Now, WYSIWYG is an acronym that stands for what you see is what you get. So essentially whatever you type here and is basically how it will look on the front end of your site. If we go back over to the right hand side you will see a couple of options. Right now the the post is in draft status because we haven't typed in anything and we haven't selected publish. So once we'd finished we'd select publish. And uh, there are a couple of other options such as the visibility, right? By default all posts will be set to public, but you do have the option to select the post as password protected where everyone will be able to see the post but they will be prompted to enter a password to actually see the content. And uh, Another option is the private option, which no one will actually be able to see these posts at all except for your logged in users which you have granted access to, such as your admin and editors, etc. And the password protected option is actually a great option to use to, to offer content to your members, paid content, etc. Okay, and if we go further down, we we'll see, so let me set this back at public, and you will see format. Now, by default, there's a standard format for all WordPress posts, and that's what we are going to use. But you do have some other options, such as a side, image, video. And what these options will do, if you select them, they will, of course, for example, if you were to select image, and you had an image in your post, which is obviously why you'd want to select it, it would just highlight 
how the post will be displayed on your website would highlight that image and the same for video audio etc now how it is displayed really does depend on the theme that you're using so that is something you would have to test out to see the results but for, for now we're going to use a standard format because that will allow us to do to add all those types of media and also there are categories now this allows you to basically you know put your posts in particular in a particular order so for example if your website was about sports and you covered soccer and basketball then you could create a category just by adding add new category and name it soccer so all the posts that you had about soccer would go in that category you could just select it and it makes it a lot easier well for you in terms of keeping your website in order and also for your users who would maybe are just interested in in soccer uh, or users who are just interested in basketball to access those posts and of course there are tags which is really more for search engine opt optimization which just you know uh, allows you to you know give a description to say to say what your post is all about and you can also set a featured image which would show up say in an expert excerpt of your post on the front end of your site so that people can have an idea of what your post is all about now this video is actually getting a, little, a bit long so I'm going to pause here and in the next video we will actually create some content in our post